valedictory address by jury chair Mr. K. Madhavan, MD, Pets Industries. I'll hand over the screen to Mr. Madhavan. And uh, I can see Mr. K. Madhavan, ladies and gentlemen. I'll hand over the screen to the gentleman. Sir, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dear folks, ladies and uh, gentlemen, very good evening. When I was asked uh, to be a jury chair responsible to un un not if any tie happens during the course of this uh, you know, selection process by uh, my jury friends, I was a uh, little uh, bit reluctant, though they have given me a veto power to do this. You know the reason why I was a bit reluctant? It was a simple reason. In any computations, if there is a tie and to unknot the tie always goes with a win-lose paradigm. And uh, the win-lose paradigm will always bring happiness to one and unhappiness to another. I was thinking, is there any possible in a time to have win-win paradigm? Incidentally, I came across an interesting uh, incident that has happened in the recent uh, Tokyo Olympics. And the scene here is uh, the final high jump contesting for gold. The two contestants there were uh, one from Qatar, he is called as uh, Brashim, another one, one from Italy, he is called Jamburi. These two people were contesting for gold and both have, um, you know, uh, recorded something like 2.237 meters in the final. So the tie was, there was a tie for the gold. As usual, both of them were given three extra uh, chances to jump. And something strange happened during the course of this extra attempts that were given. In the first two attempts, both of them could not record even one centimeter more than what they have recorded earlier, that is 2.37. And in the second jump, the contestant, Jambiri, an Italian, had a ba bad um, injury. He had a, a, what I can say is, his leg was hurt badly and he was not able to participate in the third event, third chance. So while the third chance was uh, uh, announced, he stood up and said that I am withdrawing from the third attempt. Let my friend uh, Brisham try his luck. But the same thing again happened was, Brisham, instead of trying for the third jam, he straight away walked to the Olympic uh, referee's uh, table and he put two questions. The first question he asked was, can I also withdraw from this third attempt? Second question is, if I withdraw from the third attempt, can we share the gold medal between both of us? So as usual, the Olympic officials referred their rule book and they said, yes, if you withdraw now, the gold will be shared between both. Immediately, Rishan had a great smile in his face and he said, here I am withdrawing from the third attempt and let the gold go between me and my contestant, Jamburi. All that this gave uh, as a reading is that Rishan was a fulfilled heart. A fulfilled heart always prepared to share something with others. They say that it's only empty heart that grumbles, fights, dies miserably. 
a fulfilled heart always cooperate adjust share and celebrate gentlemen today evening let us celebrate this great event being conducted by media for ima award south that the team media exchange has done a marvelous work i was a part of their uh, initial process and it was really enjoyable and the amount of work that went into to motivate somewhere around 150 odd contestants is amazing i again wish them all the best and they should do or carry out such of this program in future also the one thing here to notice is not important whether you win or lose it is not important whether you get a gold or a bronze it is it is not very important what you get out of this event or the contest but very important is the spirit behind it now ladies and gentlemen let me talk little bit about me i want i am given around 20 minutes to speak having served for 30 years uh, in a mattress industry i got an opportunity to disrupt indian mattress industry during 2006 and 7 that part of time indian mattress industry was stagnant with a product that is rubberized coil and bit of polyurethane foam it was this year we founded the brand called peps we have disrupted the indian mattress industry by bringing metal spring mattresses as a comfort and luxury item in the segment of sleeping i remember that in 2006 and 7 when we set uh, uh, the business Uh, we were uh, three uh, you know uh, partners uh, two of my partners were my beloved uh, you know friends and when we set this business during that part of the year we were making around 4000 mattresses in that year and we have touched around 8 crore turnover amid of this covid that is in the year 2020 and 21 financial year with all the debacles we could record somewhere around 415 crores turnover and we we made nearly 3.78 lakhs of mattresses spring mattresses and pushed the pushed that into the market this company today is growing at a rate of around 37% cagr and our ebitda is around 12 12.5% now the point here is business today is highly challenging business today is highly competitive success in any business according to my experience comes if you can add or bring a differentiator on the table across the total value chain that's most important to bring differentiator on to the table across the value chain you need two important thing the first thing is you must have core competency second thing is you must have what is known as capability when i say capability here i say how much resourceful you will be in your business and what are the resources you can bring at right time at right place this is very important when we started the business we had only two out of this four piece that is we had a good product we had a good pricing we didn't had anything in our hand to spend for the third p and the fourth p was bit difficult because the product itself was new to this market so with two p's we could pedal the business and when while i am speaking to you today the company is uh, touched around 475 crores in the covid period that is 2000 2021 which is a, a, in fact something uh, um, something reckonable to me and this has happened the story behind all the success i always feel is a great uh, manpower strength i always believe that you need not want very intellect 
or brilliant or inspired uh, brilliant employee but all that you need is inspired employees with this few talk i wish all the winners and participants all the best let us have the spirit of fulfillment and let us move forward and build a great industrial uh, environment across our country thank you very much thank you mr vadhan uh, for your valuable time and for setting the context uh, for the next section very very nicely thank you once again for being thank here you, with thank us thank you sir.